Assalamu alaikum and good morning. The strong government's commitment to foster religious unity and understanding is not merely shown in words but also in deeds. In his Christmas message, Chief Minister Dr. Patikia Mazhari Dr. Joping said, Sarawak has set up the unit for other religions or uniform to assist non-Muslims to build or carry out repairs on their houses of worship. This year, he added 20 million ringgit was allocated to uniform, which he believes many have benefited from the initiative. The state government, through the unit for other religions or uniform, have been formed to assist our friends who are not Muslims to build or carry out repairs to their houses of worship. This year, 20 million ringgit was allocated to uniform and I believe many have benefited from this initiative which you may not find in other states. Next year, the approved allocation is 30 million ringgit. He further says Ra is a land where people of other religions also shared in the joy and festivities as this had been the practice all the while. Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad disclosed that celebrating each other's festivities is a manifestation of the inclusiveness of Malaysian cultures that have been marked over the years. In his Christmas message, he noted that Malaysia was a peaceful country where people from all races and religions would come together to celebrate holiday festivities of fellow Malaysians. It is a manifestation of the inclusiveness of Malaysian cultures that has been celebrated over the years. I hope this mutual regard will continue and be passed on to the younger generation. This is what made Malaysia unique, united and strong. He hoped that the mutual regard will continue and be passed on to the younger generation. And now the world news. Body bags were laid out along the shattered coastline as Indonesian authorities step up efforts to collect the dead and save the injured in the aftermath of a tsunami that was apparently triggered by a volcanic eruption. The death toll climbed to 373 and was certain to rise. More than 1,400 people were injured and at least 128 were missing after the killer waves slammed into western Java and southern Sumatra without warning, smashing homes to pieces and sweeping locals and tourists into the sea. That's all from me. For more news, go to tvsort.com. Don't forget to share this video. I'm Ibal Yusuf. Thanks for watching.